I am the face of Black Maternal Health, and my name is Kenyo Pierre. I am a member of the Association of Black Cardiologists, and I'm a third year cardiology fellow. I can still remember the joy across my wife's face uh, when we found out we were having a boy. This was our second child, so we were elated to uh, be giving my daughter a little brother. Um, the days preceding the delivery were okay. Uh, my wife gave birth to a beautiful baby boy, um, and we were discharged two days later, and all was perfect or so I thought. Um, about a week later, I distinctly remember my wife waking me up at 7, 7 a.m. in the morning and saying, honey, I'm having really bad shoulder pain. I said, oh, okay, let's, let's go get you some Tylenol. We're sitting on the couch and she just begins crying profusely saying, honey, I've never experienced pain like this before. It was her shoulder and her abdomen. And in my mind, my wife never cries for anything. And so I knew something was serious. I thought maybe she's having internal bleeding. So I gave my newborn son to my brother-in-law who's living with us at the time and said, I'll be back, just finish feeding him, I promise you I'll be back. And so we drive over, race across town and I, I remember getting outside the car and putting her inside the wheelchair and wheeling her inside the ED and I couldn't even stay with her because I had to go back and take care of the kids and never did it cross my mind that, you know, this could be the last time I ever, I ever, um, ever see my wife. And so I, I I drop her off and um, I race back home and start taking care of the kids and she gives me a call and says, honey, they think I have a UTI and they're going to discharge me. And I said, there's no way you're having a UTI. You've had UTIs before. Um, you've never cried for a urinary tract infection. This can't be the case. And so I spoke to the physician assistant and I said, hey, she's, this isn't, she doesn't cry. This isn't a urinary tract infection. Can you do a CT scan to make sure there's not internal bleeding? And he scoffed at the idea and said, you know what, I'll go talk to my attending about it and they decided to settle on an ultrasound of the abdomen. The ultrasound displayed free flowing fluid inside her stomach, which was concerning for bleeding. And while they performed the ultrasound, my wife was in such severe pain, she actually pulled his hand off of her stomach because she couldn't bear the pain anymore from the internal bleeding. They did a CT scan and she had so much blood inside around her liver that it actually tamponaded itself and prevented further bleeding. The next four days were horrible inside the hospital watching her suffer and not being able to lay flat or take a deep breath. Ultimately, um, no surgery was performed, um, but I always wonder if I hadn't said something or if I hadn't stood up to, to the physician assistant, would, I, would my wife still be here? Would my parents still, would my children still have a mother? Um, would I be raising my kids by myself? And so I don't know who the black woman is inside your life, whether she's your mother, your daughter, your sister, your aunt, your niece, you have to advocate for her. You have to make sure that they hear her. Whether, whether If it's not the nurse, then talk to the nurse manager. If it's not the nurse manager, talk to the nurse practitioner. If it's not the nurse practitioner, talk to the physician. If it's not the physician, talk to the administrator. If it's not the administrator, talk to somebody else at another hospital. But make sure that they hear this Black woman inside your life. I am the face of Black maternal health. Thank you.